With Love and Peace, it's 101 Leafy, bringing you an E3 video update to brighten up your day. I have just come back from my trip to LA for the first time ever, visiting E3 2018. Huge, 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 massive thank you to my good friends at Nintendo for providing me with the pass, for inviting me to come to E3. I had so much fun. Tons of fun. I played so many games, Nintendo gave me VIP pass to backstage game room to play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate while the Smash Bros. tournament was going on. I got to see Zero, I got to see Dynamone, I got to see Latias, I got to see all the best players. I got to see Mewtwo King, got to see all sorts of crazy people back there. Met Bill Trinan, JC, my boy, met Kit and Krista. It was a really crazy, awesome, amazing time. And now, we're back. Back into the groove, getting started with the live streams again. Promise they will be daily from now on. I got nothing on my schedule. We're free. We, we're just going hard. Going hard into it. Sponsor Angry, Sponsor Party Cat, Sponsor Noco, Sponsor Manual, welcome. I'm happy to just kind of start rambling on and on. Gamer Logan says do Octo Expansion. We're going to do Octo Expansion speedrunning tomorrow. But if you guys have any questions, I'll be happy to answer your questions first before I just start talking about whatever. Gamer Logan asks, did you play Pichu? Unfortunately, Pichu is not playable in the demo. Unfortunately. Nuzlocke says Ice Climbers are back. They are. I didn't play as them, and nobody I played with played as them. However, they do seem pretty awesome. I heard that you can't do wobbling anymore, and you can't do trade-offs anymore. I think that's the term. So, unfortunately, Ice Climbers are kind of weird. Basically, Nana is just an afterimage for Popo now. She doesn't really... There's not that huge skill ceiling of controlling Nana separately. And that's okay... The main issue there, of course, is that Ice Climbers mains are going to feel kind of cheese. They're like, oh, I want to do all this crazy stuff. Well, cobbling people from 0 to 100 just because they got grabbed isn't entirely fair in Smash, so. Uh, Zine, welcome. He yeah, asked, guessing this is just a Smash Q&A. Nope. It's E3 in general. E3 in general Q&A. Sponsor Angry, I didn't want to risk anything getting spoiled for me. Sorry. Plus, I wanted to play Octo Expansion on the plane. I played it on the plane back home. So that was really nice. Kept me occupied. Any popular YouTubers? You meet Eddie? Yeah, Sponsor Party Cat. Yep. Matt Alpharad. Love him. Matt Jaywitz. Uh, I saw Lamar Wilson, but I didn't say hi. Uh, I know I saw a couple other YouTubers, too. Did you think Ridley would be in Smash as Swaglord? I thought it was just a matter of time. People were begging so much. Zine says, time to ask about Ares, then. Are you going to, or is it just time to? <laughs> Nifi, what did you think of Fire Emblem in the Three Houses, SB Man? The art, if you actually take a close look at it, not looking at it in the trailer with this trailer spectacle and being like, wow, new Fire Emblem! If you take an actual, legitimate look at the artwork, and you compare it to Hidati's beautiful artwork from Fire Emblem Echoes, it's seriously lackluster. Uh... I will admit, I was initially quite charmed by the waifus, <laughs> and that made me think the art was really good, but then I took a closer look at it, and I was like, wow, this is kind of, it's kind of janky. I'm guessing it'll be refined, that's for sure. The armies look cool, but it makes me sad because it's basically, it's basically Advance Wars, right? And that makes me feel like they aren't going to make any more Advance Wars, because they're just merging Advance Wars into Fire Emblem now with the army. Right? Advance Wars already always had that really interesting concept of you don't have these individual units, you have your armies. And as your units take damage, your army population decreases, or your uh, army unit population decreases, and therefore they become not only more fragile, but weaker strength-wise as well, which I thought was really cool. Uh, seems like they're going to be incorporating that into Fire Emblem. Additionally, not only are they doing that, but they're also bringing in some sort of Four Swords element. That was the first thing that I just, uh, that I thought of when I was watching that trailer. Very Four Swords-ish with the different formations, and that'll be kind of neat. I don't know how that'll play into the weapon triangle or whatever, but I feel like it could add an additional layer of strategy. Overall, I'm super hyped for Three Houses. I love the exploration, I love the talking to characters, I love all of that. That's my jam. 
And I love the higher strategic ceiling. I'm just a little disappointed because it feels like Advance Wars is definitely dead now. Rapid Fires is sponsored Noko. Did you see Loading Screen? Yes. Did you see Story Mode? No. Did you see Kirby Ridley? Yes. Kirby Ridley is adorable. He's got like the Ridley mouth on his head. Uh, loading Screen. Okay, so here's the thing. When I was in the VIP lounge, all of the VIP lounge guys were really touchy, right? They were really touchy. They were like, you cannot take any photos, any video, not even any photos of the character select screen or the loading screen. Absolutely not the character select screen. They were super touchy about that. And then Game Explain just goes and uploads a video of all costumes in the demo filming the character select screen in the VIP lounge. So I'm like, well... Yeah. That's, that's one way to get some nice YouTube bucks and views. <laughs> I mean, what are they going to do to Game Explain? They have 800,000 subscribers. They're really going to ban them from future Nintendo events? <sighs> I, I don't know, dude. That doesn't sit well with me. But I will say I am going to abide by the rules. They never said I couldn't talk about the loading screen, but I cannot and will not show any pictures or videos of the loading screen or character select screen or victory screens when I uh, do upload my footage. I need to process it, I need to do some stuff to it. But I will be uploading footage of that, uh, lots of Bandai Namco games, including, I know you guys really want to see this, My Hero Academia, One's Justice. Really excited about that game. I played as my, uh, my girl, Toga, of course. Couldn't resist. How is your meeting with level 5? That sponsor angry. Now you can't reveal any specifics, but how is actually talking with the people? Well, I only got to meet with one of them. I was going to meet with two of them. But, uh, there were some complications with that. Uh, it was really fun. I'm under really strict restrictions of what I can say. I really can't say anything, but I will say, if you're paying attention to the Twitter, you should be happy. <laughs> Patience is key. Okay, guys, patience is key. Just like everybody said, Nintendo was doomed because of the Wii U, and then they came back booming with the Nintendo Switch. Breath of the Wild had a 101% attach rate. The same people are saying that Yokai Watch is dead right now, is what I'll say. Yeah, GI Wonder sponsor Angry. Kudos was the guy that runs Yokai Watch News actually attending E3. So, the guy that used to run Yokai Watch News preferred to stay anonymous. And he just liked being referred to as level 5, so I was fine with that. Now somebody else is running Yokai Watch News, as a lot of people have noticed. Uh, there was like a quick change. They respond to people a lot now, and uh, the sense of humor is kind of different, though still very great. He publicly says on his Twitter that he runs Yokai Watch News, I believe. So, I think it's fine for me to say that yes, he was there. And he was the person that I met up with. I was going to meet with somebody else as well. But he was the only person I got to meet with. Wonderful, wonderful guy. I won't say any specifics because even though it's out there, I just, I don't know. I'm a very private person myself, so I like to treat other people that way, even if they don't care. But I will say wonderful, wonderful person. Super awesome guy. He is... A very, very genuine fan of level 5. He's been playing since Dark Cloud 1. He loves all sorts of great uh, video games and anime. He's a great guy. Yo, Kawash News is in great hands. Really, really happy about that. As so ZF King asks, Levy, any news about Yo, Kawash 5? Yes, actually. It's coming exclusively to the Wonder Swan, but it's a timed exclusive. It'll eventually be coming to the Virtual Boy as well. You play as Nate's grandpa, not as a yokai, Maximus N, but you play as his corpse. Basically, you sit there in the grave, and you have to rot into the ground as quickly as possible, and that's the entire game. The Virtual Boy's 3D effect really makes you face the true cold hardness of mortality. It's shocking. Maddie has favorite character in Super Bomberman R. Well, that's a random question, but they did announce at E3 that Xbox One, PS4, and PC are getting Bomberman R. So, favorite character, Simon Belmont Bonder Bomber, of course. 
What are you going to do more of in the future, S Mario Miner? Really hardcore Super Mario Ten Mario Tennis Aces stream starting this Friday when the game comes out. And I've been working really hard on some videos. Uh, there's a lot of advanced analysis that's going into it. I actually had to bust out a pe piece of paper and do some hardcore math yesterday, and that shocked me. I was like, wow, math for the first time in forever. I had to do some uh, unit management. It was kind of crazy. So, I will say... I'm trying to decide if I even want to release videos with this information. Because some of the stuff that I'm finding, I was like, okay, so I'm going to make a video out of this, but it ends up being a small bite of information. Steve Ducker, thanks for subbing. For example, everybody's taunt is 45 frames. That was just an example. Or uh, every everybody has the same exact special shot. Like, I was going to make a video about special shots, but then I analyzed them all. I'm like, well, every special shot is... 99 miles per hour and blah blah blah. It's the same exact properties and everything. Not exactly exciting. Blazer, unfortunately, not. So I'm trying to decide. Are you gonna play Smash on the channel, SGO? Absolutely. Been a huge Smash fan since Melee. Gonna do tons and tons of Smash streams and maybe videos. It all depends on the reception. The Mario Tennis Aces videos have had really good reception, so I do want to make more tennis videos. I'm just trying to decide if I'm able to make. Because I don't want to release a video, is the thing, and have it be a cruddy video. That's not my kind of thing. Because I don't want to... I guess it's not entirely clickbait. But I don't want to be like... Video all about taunting. And then I'm like, well, actually, I'm pretty sure taunting doesn't do much. It doesn't actually technically speed up your ball. And everybody's taunt is 45 frames, and that's about it. Like, I don't know. I don't, maybe you guys are okay with that, and I should do it. But I, I'm not too okay with that, so I kind of need some more input. Mario Tennis was Aces was there. The three playable Nintendo games were Pokemon Let's Go, where you played through Viridian Forest, Mario Tennis Aces, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Give me the clickbait, says B-Man. I'm super excited for Tennis Aces comes out this Friday. Are you excited for Season 3 of the Yokai Watch Anime next month? That's Alice Davis. So, technically, it's not announced yet officially, but... Some TV programming guides have already listed it, so I guess since it's official, just not on the Yokai Watch channels, we can acknowledge it. No, I'm not, to be completely honest, Alex Davis. I much prefer the subbed anime, but I'm just going to be completely honest, but I will be tuning in to show my support, to give them those numbers, to boost them. I'm more excited for the implications of getting Season 3 of the old Watch anime. You think you'll stream Fortnite as Sponsor Angry? No, absolutely not. I downloaded Fortnite on Switch to give it a try. Worst game I've ever played. It's god-awful. It's as awful as I thought it would be. Spring Man and Smash as Stephen Lee? I would love it. Just so that in the victory animation, you know how sometimes they'll do stuff like, uh, uh... So this is the Hero King, right? I need Springman's victory line to be spring a -ling. I need that to be his uh, victory line. But everybody in Japan, as well as me, wants Nyan Nyan as the ARMS rep. So since ARMS doesn't have a technical protagonist aside from the graphic novel, which is Springman, I really want Nyan Nyan to get in because she's my girl, dude. I need her. How different is Smash 4 to Ultimate S sponsor ZF King? Really good uh, question, sponsor ZF King. So here's the thing. Everyone's saying, oh, Smash Ultimate is a port. You don't know anything if you're saying that. <laughs> because they built Smash Ultimate from the ground up. By definition, it's not a port. Regardless of similarities, it's not a port. Smash Ultimate is rebuilt from the ground up. Now, in terms of how it actually plays, very, very differently. It has directional air dodging, and when you air dodge, you cannot act. It's like you're put into free fall for over a solid second. It's crazy. It completely changes the air game. At least in my opinion. Now, I'm no professional Smash player. You guys have to note that. But I have been playing Smash for quite a while. I've played uh, all of them except Sissy 4, including Project M. I was an Ivysaur main.
And because of directional air dodging, there is a ton of lag with it, Bird God. But I have seen some GIFs online of wave dashing. But there's eight more frames of lag <laughs> is the thing <laughs> of recovery. So how useful it actually is, eh, who knows. Because that means 20 frames of lag, basically. 18, to be more specific. From what I've heard. Oh yeah, Sponsor Civil, I could totally see Springman as the main arms character, and then some Echo characters. Are you depressed that Waluigi is still an assist trophy, S Pixel Chew? Yes, but here's the thing. Nobody playing the demo actually found Waluigi in the assist trophies when they were using the items. So, I don't know, man. I think Sakurai could be trolling us. I think he could be. I'm being optimistic. Because Sakurai loves trolling people. As he just showed in the Smash Ultimate E3 uh, Direct. Where he was like, alright, that's it. The end. Just kidding. <laughs> I think he could be trolling us about Waluigi. Because he knows how badly we want him. Does the directional air dodge make it more similar to Melee or Smash as Great Blazer? It's the air dodge from Melee. Smash, you could just spam air dodge. I'm not saying that was a good idea in Smash. Smash 4. But you could certainly do it. You could just... Now, you'd still get got during your vulnerability periods, recovering from the air dodge, but you could spam it a lot. But here, you tap air dodge, you can't even guard yourself. You can't even throw out a fair to protect yourself. You air dodge, and there is it's like you used your up B. There is nothing you can do. SV4, do you mean, like, God of War for the PS4? Uh, I don't think Ares is in that game. I think that's all Roman gods. No, Norse gods, right? Ares was in the original trilogy. He was hard. He was hard. The QTE in the first game where he had to mash X, that was really difficult. <laughs> Sponsors X says, by that logic, they didn't show Robin's final smash, which might hint at Cro as Krom as an echo fighter of Ike. <laughs> it's Krom's chance! Come on! Krom needs to have his day! <laughs> Masterpiece and Ultimate is not gonna happen, says Stephen Lee. What's Masterpiece? How different is Zelda and Smash as Death Madness? She's not an entirely different character, but she's certainly buffed, that's for sure. Especially using Din's fire in the air doesn't put you into free fall. Oh baby, let's go. My friend is pro at uh, at Zelda. He actually Nakat was streaming and he played him on stream and he beat Nakat with his Zelda. So <laughs> he's really good with Zelda. So I'm very very scared about these Zelda buffs when playing against him. I absolutely love the new Zelda design. The Link Between Worlds design, it's so adorable. I legit want to start playing Zelda just because of her new design. It's so, so cute. Oh my god. And the Hilda alt, it's not an entirely alt costume, and her hair is silver instead of black, but it's clearly Hilda Inspire. Are you on Red Cat Team or White Dog Squad? That's Alex Davis. White Dog Squad all the way. Komasan, boys. Is Bale still broken? as Gamer Logan. As of the E3 build, yes. However, Sakurai does want to nerf her more. She's gonna get nerfed into the ground by the game the day the game releases, mark my words. We get a Galactonite Echo Fighter, please, that's Thunder 05. Please! However, Meta Knight has a Galactonite alt costume, and they didn't change Galaxian, the sword. Ooh, however, I think that Morpho Knight could be an Echo Fighter. Because Morpho Knight is basically an Echo Fighter and Star Allies. And Kirby Star Allies, Morpho Knight has Meta Knight's moveset with different properties, basically. It's perfect. Perfect setup for an Echo Fighter. Now, will Sakurai want to put in any characters that aren't his precious Kirby babies? Probably not. So I think that Marx is more likely. Since Sakurai did create him. Who's nerfed art or sp uh, Sponsor Noko? Sonic or Mercy? I, I don't know. I don't play Overwatch. Sorry, Sponsor Noko. I only play good games. Sonic isn't really nerfed, though. Not that hard. Uh, he is a little, but not that hard. Not being able to shield cancel side B is pretty rough. That's for sure. And I've heard that it's, I don't really play Sonic, but I've heard that it's harder to combo into his scissor kick. You think Rex will make it in Smash, as Sharks? Uh, they're, they're limited for space on newcomers. 
And if we aren't getting stuff from Mario Odyssey because they've been developing the game for so long, or from Splatoon 2, I don't think we'll get stuff from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. No. How do you feel about the new Dr. Mario Daris Iron? So satisfying! Oh my god, I love that stomp. Just BAM! Spike him, dude. I love the new Dr. Mario Dare. And it helps to differentiate Dr. Mario from Mario even further. And I love Dr. Mario. He's so cool. Definitely gonna be giving him a fair shake. Now, not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna end up manning him, but gonna give him a fair shake. Is Bandana D a Sakurai character as Mayo? Bandana D was introduced in Superstar Ultra, so not quite. <laughs> nice anime fan, nice. Are there any yokai in Smash? That's mega great. Yeah, not yet. I was gonna ask level 5 about that, but I didn't get the chance to. I was gonna ask him um, if Nintendo approached you about putting yokai watch in Smash, would you be uh, down for it? I'm guessing the answer would be yes. I mean, the guy that I talked to uh, is a big fan of Smash himself, and he was hyped about Ridley. So, uh, at least level 5 Abby wouldn't have an issue with it, but I don't think that'll be their decision. It would be level 5 of, of Japan. And does he know like Smash? Probably. I mean, Hino likes all sorts of games. He was talking on the PlayStation blog about how he likes Assassin's Creed and The Witcher. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm guessing Hino likes Smash. Thoughts on Daisy as sponsor Angry. So, I feel like Daisy should have been Mario Sports themed. However, that frees up the Mario Sports themed moveset for our boy Waluigi, baby. So, let's go. I'm really excited. I love Daisy, and now Memory Man can shut up. So, it's a win-win here. I'm really, really psyched. I've always wanted Daisy to be in Smash. I feel like she deserves it. I love Super Mario Land. I'm like the one person that does, unironically. When the lay motif appeared in Sweet Sweet Canyon in Mario Kart 8, I just flipped out first time I heard it. I was like, oh my god. Yes! What does Cappy do, SB Man? Nothing. He's just a visual effect. I can see Octoling as an Echo Fighter since Liam Bauer. I can too, but my friend Nazu and I were talking, and we both agree that we would rather have Octoling be a unique fighter, like have Agent 8, and theme them around Splatoon 2 weapons. That is a correct guess, Zine. I can't say anything else about uh, the meeting, other than that it happened. I won't say whether or not we discuss certain things or anything. The fan just says, thoughts on Jump Force? So Bandai Namco did dub me an official influencer partner. I got access into their VIP room, which is this super high security closed off location. It was really, really cool. They had private demo booths for all of their games. They had a signature wall that you could sign if you went there. And it was signed by the Tekken team. It was signed by the Code Vein director. It was really, really cool. And I got to go go there, I got to play My Hero, I got to play Code Vein, and Jump Force. Jump Force is so early in development that they literally would not allow me to take pictures or video of it, and I totally get why. There are only six characters available, and it's super jank. It feels very stiff. There is a mechanic that allows you to almost instantly charge your super meter. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> that, that's a thing. And if a single character, it's a tag game, right? It's a tag fighting game, arena fighting game. But if a single character on your team of three dies, you lose. So yeah, it's super jank. I think it has potential. Will it reach that potential? I don't know. The graphics are really cool. That's really, really super cool. A lot of people are upset that it's not cel shaded, but I love it. I think it's a unique aesthetic for an anime game, kind of going for this weird, realistic -y look while still having the anime characters. It's super freaky, but I love it. And it makes Ryuk look really cool. I'll keep an eye on Jump Force. I'm gonna keep an eye on Jump Force. It looks interesting, but of course the character selection is a big thing for those kinds of games. So. If my boy Sanji doesn't get in, I don't know if I'll be picking it up. Lots of third-party games coming to Switch. My Hero and Jump Force. Uh, My Hero was really fun. It seems kind of shallow, but I'll still be getting and streaming it. The graphics were beautiful. I'm going to make an E3 
I want to make like an E3 reflection video with some of my footage of all the games and stuff. And it's going to be, it's going to be insightful, but I also kind of want it to be funny. So I'm trying to take my time with it because I've never kind of done a video like this before. It's, it's good so far, but I'll be talking and showing more my hero in that. But uh, I will go in depth into what I played. And I played two rounds, both as Toga, of course. And it was really fun. I feel like if I get more time with it, it'll seem like it has more depth. Because, I know, right, Sponsor Zach? Because when I first got my hands on it, I didn't really know what I was doing. It took a while to really figure out how everything works in a 3D arena fighter like that. I do think it seems kind of shallow, but besides that, besides that, it's really fun, it's really pretty, and definitely a lot of fan service. If you like My Hero Academia, absolutely get One's Justice. It's totally a game for you. You're going to have a lot of fun with it. If you don't like My Hero Academia and you're looking for a competitive Switch game that's anime style, go for Blade Strangers, which comes out August 30th. But if you do like My Hero Academia, this is definitely not one to miss out on, is what I've determined from the demo. My Hero a little similar to Xenoverse 2 as Death Madness. I played Xenoverse, and I'd actually say, yeah, it kind of is similar. It's not the same exact game, but it's definitely similar. What do you think about the name My Hero Wants Justice as Ziggy H? There was some copyright issue with My Hero Academia, the specific phrase, so they did the best they could. What did you think of LA as Sponsor Plune? Did you want to come back? I had super fun hanging out with you. I absolutely want to come back. I thought LA was fantastic. I got to see Carlos. Carlos was like, yeah, people think LA is super scary, but it's not. You just got to go there and you'll see. I agree. I agree for sure. It's definitely... I mean, I don't go downtown Chicago a lot, but it seemed a little... I don't want to say run down. Run down? But in the area I was in, which seemed like it should be a sort of high-class area for LA, there were a lot of homeless people, and there was a lot of graffiti and stuff, and it was, it was definitely freaky. I don't travel much. I do not travel much, so it was very interesting, that's for sure. Downtown LA is pretty crappy, says Sponsor Floon. Is it? I've heard Santa Monica is what Taco was selling me. Santa Monica, Santa Monica is where you gotta go. Sponsor Blue Bomber asks, will you play Fortnite on Switch? No, absolutely not. You think Shebel will come to Smash? That's Joshua. Who is Shebel? I don't know who that is. You still play Kunitori Wars? That's Mario Miner. I don't. Sorry. I got to play Mega Man 11. That was really fun. On the final day of E3, I rushed, rushed, rushed to the Capcom booth. Welcome, Mario Odyssey. I rushed to the Capcom booth. Got in line, I was like third in line. And basically what they did was, they gave you unlimited time to play. They gave you five lives, and you got to go through block band stage. And if you ran out of lives, the demo ended. If you killed the boss, the demo ended. I made it all the way to block man, but I died when he had two pips of health left. And I lost my last life against him. And that was my first try against block man, by the way. I lost all my lives to this one, there's like this obstacle course, I don't want to spoil it, I will be uploading my gameplay though if you want to see it, there's this one obstacle course that's very high pressure because it's auto scrolling, and there's a sort of puzzle, and I was, it's very high pressure at E3 like that, it's very high pressure, and I was mentally freaking out, and I just did not understand what I was supposed to do until one of my last lives, and I was like, oh, that's how it works, I won't spoil it, but you'll realize what I mean when you go to play Block Knight, I mean Block Man. Do you think Shovel Knight will come to Smash as Joshua? I don't think he should. I think Quote should, if we're getting an indie rep. Quote deserves it way more. But I do love Shovel Knight, so I wouldn't complain. Well, I would complain, because I want Quote. But I'd be happy in the end. What you thought on Echo Fighters as Mario Odyssey? I think that it means we're going to get a lot of them. They wouldn't create the term and make a big deal out of it just for three. I think that we're going to end up with at least six. You think a Persona character will get into Smash as an anime fan? Absolutely not. They never put a mainline Persona game on uh, any Nintendo game. Only Persona Q, which isn't mainline. Now, if they were to bring Persona 5 to Switch, maybe I could see it happening. 
But the third party rep that I think is most likely, besides Simon Belmont, is what everyone's saying, because Konami got Snake, Konami got uh, Bomberman as an assist trophy, I could see that. But what I think is going to happen is Neku from The World Ends With You, because Nintendo is publishing The World Ends With You final remix on Switch. They're publishing it. And Square Enix is totally going to get another rep. A lot of people are saying Sora, Johnny thinks it's going to be Sora. I love Kingdom Hearts. I've loved Kingdom Hearts for over 10 years. I really want Sora. But I don't think it's going to happen. I really want Sora, but I don't think it's going to happen. The world ends with you, though, being published by Nintendo. I totally think Deku can get into Smash. I would love it. Would there be a possibility of Jibanyan as an Echo Fighter as Mario Odyssey? I don't really know what Jibanyan would be an Echo Fighter of, and I don't think any third party would appreciate being delegated just to an Echo Fighter. So I wouldn't say there is. What are your thoughts on Super Mario Party, S. Joel? Oh my god, Super Mario Party. Beautiful, beautiful return to form by Nintendo to the original OG Mario Party formula. Mario Party 9, Mario Party 10, they were the sticker star and color splash of, Paper Mar of Mario Party. Super Mario Party is going to be the Thousand Year Door HD remake of Mario Party. You know, the thing that's totally going to happen for Switch, right guys? Alright guys, I'm really really excited. There's no cart, there's no car, there's no beep beep. It's just you, alone, every man for himself, Mario Party Battle Royale. Alone on the board. Got some nice mini games with the Joy-Con, making really good use of not only the Joy-Con, but also the Nintendo Switch itself. With some touchscreen mini games, you've got online play, ranked mini game competitions. Uh, heck yeah, can't wait to compete in ranked balloon blowing up. That Mario Par Party game where it's just the random switches and total luck of the drop. Can't wait to get competitive in that, that'll be real fun. As long as there are no RNG mini games, I'm gonna go hardcore, but there probably will be, so. Oh, also, you can play as Goomba. And you can make Goomba ride a bicycle. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. I'm super psyched for Super Mario Party. I'm Super Mario Psych, dude. Oh, Gamer Logan, I'm sorry. I was just joking. Did you play Spyro as Great Blazer? I did not, but I'm really excited for it. However, I'll be picking it up on PC so that I can mod in the original music. Come on. You can't disgrace the police like that. What's wrong with you? Co you, you? Copeland did the entire original Spyro Trilogy soundtrack and they're just gonna replace it? You can't do that. That's sacrilege. Daniel Ridge asked anything about Yokai? Not yet. Death Madness asked for Pokemon, were you able to play with a Pro Controller? You could actually play with a Pokeball Plus. I didn't stand in line because the line was legit six hours long, and you were just going through Viridian Forest with a level 10 po uh, Pikachu. It's Pokemon, you know? So I didn't bother standing in line for that. But I am really excited. I will be buying it day one if I don't get it from Nintendo. I'm super excited. Are you hyped for Smash Ultimate, Leafy? I've never seen so many characters, says Joshua. I was just saying, I don't think, not on stream, but I was saying to my friend when we were at the event, I don't think I've ever seen this many characters in a fighting game before. I think this is a legitimate world record for number of characters in a fighting game, excluding Mugen, obviously. This is the largest fighting game roster ever. And that alone is insane, because that's so many matchups to learn. That's awesome. I'm really, really excited for Smash Ultimate. Joshua just cutting right to the chase there. Are you hyped for Smash Ultimate? Absolutely. Absolutely. I have never been more hyped for a Smash game. What are your thoughts on Assassin's Creed Odyssey as Caitlyn Ridge? It's not really Assassin's Creed anymore. It's basically a Greek RPG, which I'm totally down for. I played the first three Assassin's Creed games, and then they just kind of blah. But I'm excited for Odyssey. I'll wait for it to drop to $20 a month after it releases, like all Ubisoft games. Did you experience any frame drops in Smash or in Jump Force? Jump Force, I can't speak for. I feel like there were. They weren't super noticeable, but I feel like there were. In Smash, absolutely not. 
Nintendo highly prioritizes silky smooth 60 FPS in every single game they make, first party. And Smash 5 is no exception. Thoughts on Kingdom Hearts 3? I'm pretty hyped, as per God. I got a 30 minute demo of Kingdom Hearts 3, thanks to my boy Carlos. 30 minutes of sweet, sweet Kingdom Hearts 3. 10 minutes on the Colosseum, Mount Olympus. 20 minutes in the Toy Story world. Carlos and I split it. Carlos played the uh, Olympus part. I played the Toy Story world, and oh my god, is it fun. You can explore Andy's house. You can go outside. You can go to the Toy Store. It's like Toy Story 2 on PS1, that amazing underrated game. There's this really cool mechanic where there are toy robots in the Toy Store taken over by the Heartless. And if you defeat the Heartless inside them, you can hijack the toy robot. So you hop inside. It's like Evangelion, basically. And then you fight the robots while inside the robot. And you're in a first-person mode. So you're looking outside of the robot's windshield, if that makes sense. And you get all sorts of cool controls. So you get, you get a jet to jet along the ground and jet into the air. You can, uh, you can punch. You can dash forward. You can do these really quick dashes. You can shoot lasers. Each robot has different properties and different skills. And there are three different kinds of robots in the demo. So I'm really hyped. Additionally, in the Toy Store, it wasn't in the demo, but I've seen in the trailers, in the Toy Store, there is a Dissidia NT display. So a lot of people are thinking that's where the Sephiroth fight is going to be, and I think that's a really cute idea. Just had to bring that up. You feel like Pokemon Trainer is actually going to be good at Scrape Laser? Oh, absolutely. Squirtle's really good. Squirtle's solid. And the ability to switch Pokemon to get out of combos is very powerful. And the ability to switch Pokemon to combo your opponent is also very powerful. You have three movesets at your disposal. And now, with no Pokemon energy in play, and with a much, much, much lower commitment to switching Pokemon, I think Pokemon Trainer is going to be really good. Now, Charizard did lose Rock Smash, which is unfortunate. But, dude, Squirtle's really good. Ivysaur's fun. What are your thoughts on Starlink Battle for Atlas, S. Joshua? I got to speak with one of the ga uh, game's level designers. And that was incredible. That was incredible. I... I'm trying to figure out how to say this. Ubisoft sometimes doesn't make great things. <laughs> but other times Ubisoft makes really great things. And in the end, I really love Ubisoft. I I really do. I think a lot of their people are super passionate about what they do. And they also had that unique twist of not really being from America, right? The They are based in Montreal. So they're definitely... Completely just like different out of the country, different creative inspirations, and it definitely shines through with games like Rayman Legends, Rayman Origins, Valiant Hearts, and Starlink Battle for Atlas is no exception to these kinds of games. Ma Mario plus Rabbids. The guys that made it, they said basically, uh, as soon as Miyamoto saw like the the idea for this for the art wing, he was super hyped about it, and he was like, yeah, let's absolutely do it. Mario plus Rabbids helped them really get the deal, and Starlink is going to be huge, because it doesn't have any loading screens, is what they're trying to do. They're trying to make it like Breath of the Wild, where you see a planet, you fly to it, and you land, and there are no loading screens. And he said, basically, a lot of the planets are about gathering resources, but then... Some of them are more focused gameplay experiences, which I think is a cool idea. And one interesting challenge for them is making sure that all of the planets feel unique and feel fun. So he talked about there's one planet. I didn't get to play because the line was really long. But there's one planet where it's all themed around sound. And they didn't just take the lazy way out where they're like, whoa, things echo. They put a lot of research into what materials, what kinds of objects will resonate, will reflect different frequencies of sound, 
And so a lot of the planet will incorporate things like crystals, which I think is super cool. There was a desert planet demoed last year, and that's an entirely different thing. I'm really excited for it. It seems like it's going to be a super solid game. And then additionally, they're putting in Team Star Fox exclusively for Nintendo Switch. They're being super loyal. They said they're treating Star Fox like a VIP. So I believe we're getting the whole Star Fox team, not just Fox McCloud. Though you can only play as Fox. And Fox is in the cutscenes. He interacts with the Starlink crew. He feels at home, but he also feels like a super cool VIP guest. I'm really excited. You can fly the you can fly the R wing. Even if you don't have a weapon equipped, you can still use the R wing's hyper laser from Star Fox. It's super exciting. It's super exciting. And the R wing, when you barrel roll, of course, you reflect enemy shots. Really cool stuff. And I'm definitely getting it day one. I believe it comes out October sixth. Super excited for that. What game besides Smash are you most excited for, SB Man? Pikmin 4. We didn't get any news on it this year, but obviously Pikmin 4. If you're talking about stuff at E3 this year. I'm going to have to say Starlink Battle for Atlas. I love Toys to Life stuff, so I've been excited for this since it was announced. And now that we have Fox, I'm just freaking. Cannot wait. Just a few more months. Or I guess uh, Mario Tennis Aces in four days. That was technically at E3. Did you like deleting Fortnite at Skull Diver? It was the best part of the game, honestly. Pikmin 4 needs to exist, Joshua. Miyamoto has confirmed it many times. He also says, I have a lot of questions in a small period. That's fine. Fire him at me. Will there ever be a new Kid Icarus that sponsors EF King? Soccer, I said, in 25 years. So... Are you surprised there are no Metroid Prime 4 trailers as Death, Ma Death Madness? No, Nintendo only ever shows stuff at E3 that they're premiering this year, or releasing this year. And uh, Metroid Prime 4, I knew was not going to release this year. I'm very surprised about Pikmin 4, but... What do you feel about the new Amiibo? That's Great Blazer. I absolutely love the Octoling pack. The o Octoling Girl Amiibo is quite spicy. Cannot wait to have that on my shelf, that's for sure. Definitely going to be picking that up day one. I need the Agent Eight outfit, so the Amiibo are obviously going to give that. I'm guessing we're going to get the Retro Octoling gear from one of them, and then the second armor gear from the third. Christina, uh, Fire Emblem looks great. It's not till next year, but it's not till early next year. You aren't going to show stuff that's holiday 2019. And Metroid Prime 4, totally holiday. Favorite design of the merch you made at Sponsored Day 12 Cone? Oh yeah, I haven't even acknowledged it yet. Oops. So, taking this opportunity to chill a bit. Uh, I've been working really hard. I put out a video. Go watch that if you want the specifics. But we do have merch now. We do have a little art collection. You get stickers, hats, shirts, bags, cool stuff. I'll make you a sketch. If you order something, I'll write you a little note thanking you for your support. Things may, may take time to ship. This is a solo operation. Uh, but I'm really excited about it. I'm really, really excited about it. You can see some of the stuff available in the slideshow. You can click the link in the description. You can type leafy.clothing into your browser and head right on over. I'm really excited about it. Ridley Amiibo has still ambushed. Yes, they did announce it. As well as an Inkling Amiibo. Was well, a new WarioWare game announced as Alex Davis? Yes. Uh, Alex, WarioWare Gold is releasing August 3rd, I believe. I will definitely be picking that up. Need some Kotakeuchi in my life. Love his artwork. Christina, some of it's handmade. Some of it's made by corporate overlords. So that stuff will take longer. Because I have the handmade stuff already in hand. What's up, Red Slime? Great to see you. What do you think about Crash Bandicoot, asked Caitlin. I will be picking it up on Switch as soon as it releases. In uh, 10 days, I believe. 10 days. You think Octopath Traveler will get representation in Smash as Great Blazer? A trophy at most. Do you like that Squid Sisters are in Smash as seen as all games? No, absolutely not. I wanted, uh, I wanted an Agent 2 assist trophy where Marie would come on the screen in her Agent 2 outfit and she would do a couple charger shots. So she'd zip, pew, zip, pew. Edmund, it's a secret. On to Super Crusher, hi! Welcome. Yeah, Sponsor Day 12 Cone says, I got my paycheck today so I can buy some merch. I like it. Yeah, Neon, I just realized that Mercy is like a typo of merch. I've kept thinking that people are saying that my merch is Overwatch themed. They're like, Leafy, I love your Mercy drawing. And I'm like, what? 
<laughs> Sydney, hi! We need Captain Cuttlefish Amiibo, yes, called. So, we need a dual pack of Agent 3 and their Octave Expansion outfit and Cuttlefish. Please, I would do anything for an Agent 3 outfit. I would do anything to have the Agent 3 outfit in Smash, have the announcer say Agent 3. Like, when you change to Alf, when playing as Olimar, when you change to Alf, he'll actually say Alf. I need the Agent 3 outfit to have Xander Mobus say Agent 3. Please, please, I love Hero Mode so much. What else? What else? Pufferfish, Pufferfish Planet asks, any news from Mobile 5 at all? Not yet. Not yet. If any yokai could be in Smash, which one would it be? Asked yeah, Eno's All Games. That's a really tough question, but I gotta go with my boy Enma. Using the Enma Blade. Would be sick. Josh, we're always happy to answer all your questions. Another big shout out to my friends at Nintendo for providing me with the invite to E3, giving me the VIP access to Smash, all that awesome stuff. You guys rock. All you guys. You know who you are. If you're watching this, you're the coolest. Thank you. Were there any new victory dialogues in Smash as Death Madness? Woomy, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I, I couldn't really tell. Pufferfish Planet, yes, but I can't talk about it. Sorry. How's Octo Expansion as Christina? Incredible. It's not exactly what I wanted, but it's incredible in its own right, and I love it. If you have you played Zelda yet, as he knows all games. I mean, yeah, I got it day one. Why wouldn't I? I love I love Zelda. I assume you're talking about Breath of the Wild, right? Or are you talking about Zelda and Smash Ultimate? But yet is implying that, like, I could do so now, which I can't. I played Inkling, and I played a couple rounds of Ridley. Ridley's insane. Ridley deals so much damage. Ridley's not OP, but he is pretty crazy. He's an absolute unit, dude. Do you hate Pichu as Mario Odyssey? No, I'm so psyched that Pichu is back. I hope she's good. I hope she's good, because I love Pichu. She's adorable. <gasps> Pixel 2 got a SNES Classic as a graduation present. Heck yes. Should you get Octo Expansion now or wait till his birthday? I'd say now. You don't want to be spoiled. Favorite experience for me? Three, yes, Christina. Getting to meet up with level five was very exciting. Though, no, 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 no. Talking to JC. The guy that created Nintendo Versus. One of the coolest Nintendo Treehouse members. He goes on the Nintendo Treehouse live segment sometimes. I... He's amazing. He's a big idol of mine. And I was talking to him. And I introduced myself, and I was like, one-on-one -on -one Leafy, and he, like, recognized me. Because we played, I believe we played ARMS together. And I tweet my videos at him sometimes when I do competitive ones. And he told me to enjoy my time at the Smash VIP Lounge, because I deserve to be there. And that, like, blew my mind. That completely blew my mind. Also, I got to meet Phil Trinan that day, too. Which is sick. Edmund, it's the name of the character. Alice is the name of the character on some of the shirts. And stickers. Also, do you know how the GameCube controllers work for Smash? They work very well, Edmund. We were allowed to use brand new GameCube controllers, the ones that they're releasing this fall. Or, I believe, this winter. And they were incredible. They felt really clicky and nice. Maybe it's just because my GameCube controller is from when I originally bought the GameCube, but uh, the buttons are a lot clickier on the new ones. They feel nice. They feel nice. Have you met Sakurai face to face? I've seen those all. No, but I saw Sakurai and Nogami in the flesh. I was looking at them. I was looking at them. I like the sound of that death madness. I encourage you to. I will say the 101 Leafy stickers are a pretty hot item. Oh, you put the Yokai Watch 3 badges in Badger Arcade again, says Sponsor Super Crusher. Cool. Who won E3 in your eyes, says Sponsor Felt Manor? Well, it's worth noting that Sony didn't show off anything new. They didn't show a single new thing, besides, like, announcing Neo 2. And definitely not Microsoft, because they didn't announce any exclusives. So Nintendo wins by default. No, yeah, God Howard won E3. He was so great. <laughs> Degenerates. He was so great. I love Todd. Todd's my boy. I stayed up late to watch that. I love Todd so much. Could you use a sideways Joy-Con for Smash as I'm on Rayquaza? You could, yeah. I wouldn't recommend it, but you could. 
Chuckster, what's up? She says, tell me when John is confirmed as Bale's Echo Fighter. I can totally see that happening. Oh no, the Madness have fun in DC. Are the new GameCube controllers USB? Yes, I admit. No, they work with the GameCube adapter. Which is USB. What do you think about the Mario Plus Rabbids DLC as sponsored Dave Puffcone? I didn't get a chance to play it. I searched for the booth, but I couldn't find it. I don't know if they were demoing it on the show floor. I'm really excited. It comes out next week. I'll definitely be buying it. I'll probably stream it too, but I kind of want to stream Tennis Aces. Maybe I'll stream both. Why not? Love that Daisy's in Smash, you knows all. Would have rather she had a Mario Sports move set instead of being an Echo Fighter, but hey, I'm still psyched. Veravik, I would love Divanyan to be an assist trophy at least. That would be nice. Who do you want in Smash as Fruit Guy Orange? Well, my number one pick was Inkling, and they got in. I want Andy from Advance Wars, Chibi Robo, Titan Dweevil. That would be amazing, Titan Dweevil and Louie. That's my number one pick right now, Titan Dweevil. Four specials, of course, would be the four weapons. Thoughts on Ridley and Smash this Mario Odyssey. Not OP, but very powerful. Oh man, Villager and Mega Man are gonna have a field day though. He's just so massive. But yeah, he's super strong, that's for sure. People are gonna complain about him, I'll say that for sure. He's not OP, but people are gonna complain about him. What do you think the armies do in Fire Emblem Three Houses, that's Great Blazer? I think it'll function like Advance Wars, where you get more power the more ar the more units that you have in your army, and as you take damage, you decrease your units. And there will probably be a weapon triangle type thing with the Four Swords Adventures thing. Did you go with friends, as Corey? Yeah, I went with Johnny Awesome, if you know who that is. Awesome guy. Love him. Steven Thompson, welcome. Says, hi, how are you? I'm great. You wish we heard more about more Nintendo games. Is the Smash news enough? I'd say it's almost enough, but I would have liked one more reveal. I would have liked to have Pikmin 4 or Animal Crossing or something. He knows all Bale combos are not back. Sakurai is going to take them out. He does not want them in. They were only in there on accident. They're going to be removed by the time the game releases. So don't worry. Favorite Smash character at Skatelin Ridge? Inkling. They're all I wanted in the world. They have amazing costumes. You've got the school uniform. You've got Agent 3. You've got uh, the tan skin and the pink hat and ink. Like, those are my three favorites. Those are my three favorites. That's all I needed. That is all I needed. Yes, it is Sonic Rush soundtrack, Thunder 05. Yes. Inkling's really good. Inkling's super, super fast. Inkling's super fast, super mobile. Inkling will be very good in doubles. Their side B is the roller, and you roll ink across the stage, and you're faster on your ink. And when you hit people with the roller, you damage them and bury them. But the thing is, you can't really follow up the bury yourself. It takes too long. Unless your opponent has a very high percentage, then you can cancel out of the side B and follow up. But anything earlier than like 100%, at least I haven't figured out how to follow up properly with the side B. Because you can't hit people more than once with the same side B is the thing. But in doubles, you'll just bury people and your ally will follow up, and I think that'll be really potent. Inkling's neutral B is very interesting. It's Splattershot and you paint your opponents, but what they don't really specify in the direct is that Inkling's ink, their neutral B with the Splattershot, does not affect people. It doesn't knock them back. It's exactly like Fox's laser. So you shoot them with ink, I believe it deals a minute amount of damage, but they can just walk right up to you and hit you while you're doing that. Which is really interesting. It's super interesting. And you can aim it up and down like Flood. Now, when you cover your opponent in ink, it increases your knockback by 10 million times. If you completely cover your opponent in ink, you will kill them so fast. So, so fast. So it's balanced out. It's a really cool mechanic. Once... Once you figure out how to weave in splatter shots, maybe at the ends of your combos, out of your throws, 
when you're kind of jumping back, spacing, if you read your opponent well, like, oh, they're probably going to do this. Okay, well, we'll throw out a little splatter shot because we're spaced out well enough to where they won't be able to hit me with it. Is there a way to get rid of the Ankh Death Madness? Not that I know of. I think it wears off, but that's about it. You charge your ink by holding shield and pressing B, which is a new mechanic. Nobody's ever had that input before. And you don't charge ink passively, like in Splatoon, which I feel is kind of weird. You don't charge ink passively. You have to actively charge ink by going into your ink. You use ink really fast if you try and spam bombs, which is pretty loyal to Splatoon. The bombs are quite good, I feel. They're really good for edge guarding, like uh, against Mega Man especially. I feel like the splatter, the splat bombs are going to be really good because you can legit, basically, the longer that you hold the button, the farther you throw it, just like in Splatoon, which is awesome. You can legit just drop a splat bomb off the edge and get Mega Man because it's no, it doesn't work like in Splatoon One where it has to hit the ground and then it if you hit somebody with the bomb, it explodes immediately. Octo Expansion Tomorrow Turtle Boss. E3 was amazing. Yeah, Alex. I did ask level 5 that, uh, and Hasbro is through with the Yokai Watch merchandise in the US. They're still doing it in Europe, but in the US, we aren't going to get any anything more. How many stages did you like on the Smash U build, That's Great Blazer? Almost all of them, because there's a stage hazard toggle. You can click a button to turn off stage hazards. Not only are there Battlefield and Final Destination forms of stages, there are no hazard forms of stages. So you get those sweet, sweet platforms on the Dr. Wily Castle stage, and no Yellow Devil. I believe. What are your thoughts on Johnny Awesomeness, Edmund? Great guy. Super great guy. Do not speak highly enough of him. Puts a lot of effort into his content. Really great person. Really great friend to me. Love the guy. How's my boy Pac-Man Nia as Neon? Buffed as hecky. They fixed his grab. They made him cycle through his fruit faster. He can, uh, he can dash attack, chomp through his hydrant waters. He can do a lot of good stuff now. I love Pac-Man. Pac-Man's my boy, too. He was my Smash 3DS main. With Ness as my secondary on 3DS. And I'm really, really psyched about the new changes. Opponents can now kill his mappy trampoline, which is kind of funny. Will we hear about more characters on Steven Thompson? Yes. We aren't going to get a lot more characters, but we will get more. Will you and Johnny do a collab with Skatelin? I don't really do collabs. If Johnny approached me about something, I'd totally be down, but I don't really do collabs. I don't actively seek them out. We were going to do something for Yokai Watch 2, but that kind of fell through just because we were busy. We were going to do like an online battle thing or something. Yeah, Hasbro's Model U is kind of awful, Alex Davis. We kind of dodged the bullet. Just import the Japanese stuff. You wish we got more new characters rather than old as Steven Thompson? No, I'm, I'm loving that they brought back all the old characters, and they're differentiating them a lot. New Link is really cool. He doesn't have a, a grapple anymore. He has a normal grab. The remote bombs you can set off at any time. He's a lot different from Young Link. His down air basically L cancels. And he shoots sword beams at full health. Breath of the Wild Link doesn't use any champion powers. I totally think he should, Turtle Boss. In my opinion, Breath of the Wild Link's up B should have been Revali's Gale. That would have been awesome. Jonathan, start from Inaz Inazuma 11 Episode 1 and just go through all the normal episodes. Don't watch Go until after you watch the original. Leafy, did you get to meet any of the Nintendo bigwigs at Spo uh, Spongy? Yes, I did. I already went over this, but I met Bill Trinan and I met JC, which was awesome. Not sure, B-Man. We'll see about that. 
Yeah, uh, Breath of the Wild links up B is still hero spin. Unfortunately. Alright guys, I think that about covers it. We're getting a lot of repeat questions now, so go back in the VOD and rewatch if you're confused. Check out the merch link, I looked, worked really hard on it. Check out the video, please. Uh, I'll be, I'll be back tomorrow with some Octo Expansion speedrun practice, just for fun. And I'm gonna go work on some Mario Tennis Aces content. So, see you when I release the video or reveal all my secrets on a stream, or however I decide to release that stuff. Ness is awesome, Blaze fan. Ness has classic PSI effects now. Lots of new visual effects in Smash 5, and N Ness's attacks at Lucas's have the little stripes and stars and stuff, like when using PS and PK attacks in Earthbound. It's really sick.